everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaylee Gray and I am making weekly vlogs every Friday about life, faith, and relationships. So if you have not subscribed, be sure to hit that red button below and give me a thumbs up and comment um, and follow me on my other social media. I would love to connect with you there. So I'm guessing you probably clicked on this video based on the title. And I guess I should probably just get right into it. Yes, I have been catfished before. And if you're like, what does that mean? Um, so pretty much what it is, is like if you're on a dating app or something and you meet someone and they're pretending to be somebody else and they're practically like not a real person. Like I know they're a real person, but they're not the real person that you think that you're getting to know. And so the reason for making this vlog is mainly to like not warn people because I'm like, I'm not against online dating apps and because so many people are meeting that way, it's such like an easier way to like meet people and stuff like that. Um, it's not for everyone, I do say that, so you have to like have the correct mindset for it and I've, I've talked about this in other vlogs, so be sure to, to watch those. But um, you know, you have to be smart with this online dating because what's scary is like, there's weird people out there and why they do this, I have no idea. No idea. Um, so I will just kind of share my experience um, with you guys and just some little tips along the way um, to, to maybe be looking out <laughs> for. Um, that's a red flag. Um, so anyways, um, this guy, you know, had liked my profile or whatever and like was talking and chatting and stuff and it was like going well and everything. And then he asked for my phone number, so we exchanged phone numbers and he had told me that he had just moved here like two months prior from Georgia. And so he didn't really like know a lot of people either. He was like looking for a community, looking for church and stuff. And so like that was a sad thing too. Like he was like, he's, he was like talking like a Christian and like just saying like lots of like, things and so I mean the guy could be a Christian I don't know but like the things he was saying I was like okay this guy has some knowledge and foundation so um yeah so that was kind of sad in that aspect um but um so then you know he was like messaging me and stuff like that um and so then he like wants to talk on the phone. Like we were like, hey, let's, you know, we should, you know, set up a time to talk on the phone. Because I'm, you know, definitely about that. Like you, you really want to like meet the person right away. And I wasn't like ready to like meet him like right away yet. I was like, let's, let's talk on the phone first. And like, you can kind of feel it out. Um, and so it's like funny, but it's not funny um, because it could be true. Um, so he had told me like he was in the military and like he said he was nervous to like talk on the phone with me because he had a voice injury in the military and he didn't want to freak me out because he had been judged on it in like prior dating. So now I'm like nervous about this like phone call because I'm like what is he going to sound like? And so anyways, um, so we don't talk, I think that was like on a Sunday, so we don't talk Sunday. Then Monday text, he's like, hey, are we still talking on the phone tonight? I was like, yeah, you know, I'm free. Um, then like an hour prior to like talking on the phone, he like is like, hey, my dad just called and um, he's in a super talkative mood. Um, any chance we could talk tomorrow? And I'm like thinking, you're, you're gonna like not talk to me on the phone and you're gonna talk to your dad? I don't know, I was like, he must really not be that interested in me. But I was like giving him the benefit of the doubt, you know, whatever. So I uh, talked, so we didn't talk on Monday. And so then Tuesday, didn't really hear from him. Then he's like saying like, oh, it was just such a crazy day at work, super rough. And he was like an air traffic flight controller, which I was like, that's kind of like a high intense job. So I was like, you know, didn't really hear from him during the day because of it. Um, and so then I was like, okay, great. Like I'm just finishing up some stuff. Like I'll be right. I'll be free in like 30 minutes. Then he takes like over an hour to respond to me. I locked my keys in my car. I'm like, seriously, like, are you kidding me? And he's waiting for a ride. So I was just like, whatever. 
the next day, um, what is he, he had another excuse. Oh, then he was like saying he was doing employee evaluations and he hates this time of year. And so I was just kind of like, okay, like this is getting weird. Like you have like put up like not wanting to talk to me. And I mean, maybe he just had a crazy week, like that could happen. But if you're seeing signs of like somebody like making up lots of excuses, like to not talk on the phone with you and they just want to like message, like, I don't know, that's like a, a major like red flag for me. Um, and I kind of feel like it should be for you too, but you know, to each his own. Um, and so then I was like, you know what? He like, he is not like, even asked for my last name. It's been like almost a couple weeks. Like this is kind of weird. Um, so then I was like, okay. I was like, hey, you know what I realized? And he's like, what? And I was like, I don't know your last name. He does not respond. It takes 24 hours to respond to me before he tells me his last name. And I just was like, okay, this person is like not real. Like this whole like 24 hour time. I was like, you know, he was just like texting me back and forth right away. And then I asked for his, his name and now he's not because the reason I like to like find out their full name is so that I can like cross reference on social media, LinkedIn, Google, something, just to be able to check them out to make sure they are a real person. Most of the time, sometimes if you like are living in the same area, you can have mutual friends. And sometimes if you're close with that person, you can like check them out through that, you know, and stuff, it's just like, that way you're not like meeting a complete stranger. Nothing against meeting complete strangers, but you know, just better safe than sorry. I like to do my research. And anyways, um, so he finally, 24 hours later, gives me his last name. And then he says like, oh, I just got these messages. So weird, you know, or whatever. And I'm just like, what? So I don't respond for like a couple hours because I, myself and a couple friends, are on recon like we are like trying to look him up on social media like LinkedIn Google everything we can't find anything on this guy and I'm just like that's kind of weird especially for being a manager for an air traffic flight controller like you don't have LinkedIn I was like Ooh. that was another red flag so I'm like I don't even think this is a real person so then um I don't I like you know hadn't responded in a couple hours because I was you know, busy doing that and I was doing some other stuff. And he was like, oh, did I make you mad? I'm sorry. And I'm like thinking, why should, I'm like, I, if anything, like, yes, I should be mad. You didn't respond to me for 24 hours. And when I asked you your last name, I'm like, that's like such a, not like a creeper move, but like a red flag. So I decide, you know what? I'm gonna call him because until I like, he like talks to me on the phone. I'm like, I don't even know if this is real. So he doesn't answer, he's like, I'm eating dinner, can I call you in a little bit? So then he does call me back. And so we do talk, and he pretty much just talks about himself and his life and da 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 and stuff. And it wasn't like a bad conversation, like it was good. And so I was like, okay, like, I guess he's a real person, you know? Maybe like all of these thoughts I had in my head aren't right, you know? Um, and so I went over to like a friend's house that evening afterwards and we're still like looking him up like trying to find stuff because we can't find anything and so she's like show me his profile like let me see his profile and so I look up his profile and his location changed he wasn't like living in the same place I was like he was living somewhere else and I'm like what she's like message him ask him like if he's moving and I was just like, hey, like I was showing you my friend and you know, da 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 and like saw your location was changed. And he goes, oh, that's weird. I don't know why it did that. And I was like thinking, okay, that's another red flag, like super sketch. And so then the next day, you know, he's like messaging me saying how much he enjoyed like talking on the phone. And I don't know, I feel like sometimes they'll like, they almost like string you along, like just like really want to have like a texting conversations or maybe phone call conversations, but never wanting to meet in person or that face to face. And so um, I was like, yeah, you know, I feel like the next step should be like FaceTime or like meet in person just so that, you know, we can see each other's chemistry and, you know, because I don't want to waste your time and I hope you don't want to waste my time. And um, so but really deep down, I was like thinking, I'm like, until I see him speak and see his face that matches the pictures on his profile, I'm not even gonna believe that this is a real person. 
And so after that, he ghosted me. Um, he was like, yeah, let's do it. And then um, he was like, and I was like, he's like, when do you want to do it? And I was like, how about this weekend? And he's like, possibly I have to work. And then I was like, dun, dun, dun. You're not real, you're not gonna make time. And I just was like, no. And then like a day later, I looked back on his like um, profile on the app and um, he had changed locations yet again. So I made sure uh, to report that profile um, as catfishing. So with that all said, like just be smart with online dating. Like I saw like the signs, like I, I had kind of felt this for like the whole week. Um, and like even like friends, when I was like talking to them, I'm like, I don't even think this guy is real. Like I don't even think it's, it's person. And so you just have to be, just be very careful with it. And that's why there's like things set and like, you know, trying to like communicate with them and like get to know them on a deeper level. And I was thankful like he didn't have any of my personal information. Like he never knew my last name. He didn't know, I mean, he just knew like the city I lived in, but he didn't know whereabouts that I lived or anything like that. And so you just have to be smart with that like and use the correct judgment. And with this, like I always like have like a really good friend or somebody that I am communicating this with. Um, just so that I also have like someone to be like, not that I'm in this like love bubble and they're like, Kaylee, like be smart about this. Like this is a red flag. And so I'm super thankful for friends like that. And I've even had people message me and friends and stuff like that message me here um, from seeing my videos and they're like, hey, what about this situation? Like, what do you think I should do and stuff? And so it's been fun to like get to know you that way and communicate that way because a lot of times I'll like say something they're like oh I didn't think about that and so sometimes just getting that other side that perspective kind of helps like I'm not saying like this person is like feeding into my life and helping me make my decisions but they're kind of just also being like a voice of reasoning just like just to communicate with them to be smart especially with this whole online dating world you do have to be smart you do want to be careful um, especially like if you're meeting in person, you know, like I've said this before, like always have like somebody know your location and where you're going and, you know, checking in on you. So, but yeah, um, so that was crazy to say that I have been catfished. Never in a million years did I think this would ever happen to me. But you know what? If this video encourages somebody out there or helps them so that they don't get catfished, you know? I guess it was worth the experience. So anyways, I hope that you guys have an amazing Friday and I can't wait to see you all next week. Bye.